Hello everyone, uh, we will be uh, working out this particular problem. You have a light, massless, uh, small pulley. And this pulley is connected by two springs as you can see S1 and S2. This spring has spring constant K1. This spring has spring constant K2. Now if you bring this block, if you pull this block slightly down by a distance x, a small distance x and you release it, it executes SHM. So we want to find the time period of oscillation of this block. Okay, so it's a very important problem of simple harmonic motion. How we will approach this problem? First of all, you see this thread with which the block is connected is a massless inextensible thread. So tension is acting T, T. So of course the tensional force here will be 2T. Okay. So if you pull the block down by a distance X. Now let me tell you one thing. That initially when you connected the block. So the block got down by some distance. And it was at rest. Okay. The initial displacement of block. Will not affect our result. Okay. So we can neglect till that part. So when you suspended the block already this particular point suppose it was initially here so it got down by some distance came here and the block was at rest. From that point when you pull it further down by a distance x and you release it then what happens it executes SHM. So by neglecting the initial displacement of the block we will proceed in analyzing this problem. So the displacement of the block x can be written as x1 2x1 plus x2. What is x1? x1 is the extension of spring s1 and, s2 and x2 is the extension of spring s2. So let x1 and x2 be extensions of springs s1 and s2 okay from the initial equilibrium position of the block so x is 2x1 plus x2 y 2x1 now you see for single movable pulley for a single movable pulley this is a reason de by dl which is velocity ratio this is 2 so de will be equal to 2 times dl okay so if the spring s1 you consider s1 and the block you see if you consider this particular spring then as if this part is fixed to the rigid support so as if this is the load point this is the load point this is the load and here this is the effort point so if the load displaces by x1 the effort will displace by 2x1 so that's why this term for a single fixed pulley velocity ratio d by dl it is equals to 1 so from here you get de equals to dl so as DE equals to DL, so therefore we see for this one, for the spring S2, when the block has displaced, when you please see, when the spring has got extended by X2, then the block, then the effort point will also go down by X2. So if this particular point has gone upward by a distance X2, then this point will also get down by a distance X2. Okay, so that's why plus X2, so total extension of the block or the distance the total displacement downward displacement of the block x can be written as 2x1 plus x2 and this is the underlying reason now you see simple in equilibrium in equilibrium what can you say in equilibrium 2t is equals to k1 x1 okay so i am calling this one equation 2 and t here you see T can be written as K2X2. T equals to K2X2. This is my equation 3. Now from equation 2. From equation 2. What we can write? We can write 
that x1 equals to 2 t by k1 and from equation 3 you can write x2 equals to t by k2 okay now you put these values in equation 1 so equation 1 what does it become x equals to 2 x1 so 2 into 2 t by k1 plus x2 is t by k2 so x equals to t if I take common 4 by k1 plus 1 by k2 so x is equals to t 4k2 plus k1 by k1 k2 okay now once you got this so from uh, this one what we can say that t is equals to k1 k2 x by 4k2 plus k1 so basically this is nothing but k equivalent so this is k equivalent of the of the system okay now what do we know the time period of oscillation now this particular system we can consider it to be like this something like this that there is a spring which is connected with a block blocks mass is m and this is nothing but k equivalent so basically this refers to this system we have boiled down this entire uh, mechanical setup into this one and we know time period of oscillation of this setup is 2 pi square root of m by k so therefore time this t is tension so therefore time period of oscillation how we can find out the time period of oscillation therefore tp is equals to 2 pi square root of m divided by k equivalent so 2 pi square root of m by k equivalent you do then you will find out Okay, so this is exactly how we can solve this problem. So this is the time period of oscillation of this block. Now, if these two springs have identical spring constants, if k1 and k2 both are equal to k, so what, what result will you get? Here you will get 5k and here you will get k squared. So 2 pi square root of 5m by k. That is the answer. Okay, so in this type of problem, we have considered a simple approach to find out the k equivalent of the system and using that k equivalent we used the relation tp equals to 2 pi square root of m by k equivalent which helped us to find out the time period of oscillation of the block okay so the goal was to boil down this system into this system i hope solution of this problem has uh, helped you in understanding some fundamental concepts of SHM. Thank you.